All right, guys. We are 0 for 2 so far in this session. I'm going to change that right now. I'm going to play a little extra fast. I'm going to talk a little less. Let's go. This feels very questionable by them. Oh, I don't know why. I, I should have. This was dumb. Okay, let's play E5. E5 is the main move in King's Indian. Let's play it. Ah, this knight comes in. They're really uh, knocking on the door here, but... Maybe I can solidify. They probably push though. I would I would push if I were them. So this is called a wedge pawn, very strong long term. I'm not I'm not feeling this game so far. <laughs> um, but we carry on. We keep fighting. Okay, maybe. I'm really under this, this this knight move. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I thought I was gonna be able to like have the queen jump in quickly, and I was incorrect. Okay, we're gonna send our pawns. Actually, now I like our position better. Well, they can go like rook in. They can go queen in and pressure, but all right, let's keep the pressure on. I like our pace so far. Time is equal. They have a lot of pressure here, but uh, I have a ton of defenders. Okay, they're targeting queen and this. Let's go here. They can take here, that's okay. The, they're, uh, yeah. I can't do that because of skewer. Actually, I can because I can go knight. So yeah, they can do this, but I can go there. It's a little sketchy, but I think it's fine. Yeah, I think send the pawns. They do that, I do this. They can win it. Uh, but you know, their king, they're like, this is a checkmate. Someone's going to get checkmate of this game. So king safety is a little more important than material. This is definitely not ideal. Ooh, and then they have the discoveries. Okay. How do I defend this? They don't have a good discovery though. Uh, but I get, oh, then I get mated. Oh man, this was so bad. <laughs> oh for three. They they move the knight somewhere. Check by the bishop. I move the king, and then they mate me. <laughs> Although okay, there's there's some hope. Okay, they didn't do it. They didn't do it. I can't even really block it though. Still, it's just like sitting there. Oh uh, god. Oh, I can take. All right, crisis averted. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, but now they, they could have also taken here. All right. <laughs> uh, well, it's just one one crisis after another. I can't, I can't even, can I even save my queen right now? Okay, let's go way back here. There were like, there were a lot of forks and stuff. They can take this. Free Rick. Go for it. Nice, dude. Good for you. <laughs> All right, we tra we're trapping the bishop. We're gonna tra we need to get rid of this knight. This knight's just been... Brutal. Okay, they're threatening a nice little fork there. Let's not let them have that. All right, guys, we're going to battle our way out of this. Their king is still their king is still sketchy long term. There's hope.
I need to watch out on the back rank, make sure I, I defend against this check long term. Oh, this is hanging. Oh. And then this is hanging after that. Oh, I can I guess I have to block. Whew. Doesn't Oh, it does solve my problem. Let's go. All right, guys. There's hope. This is why we keep fighting. It's not over. It's not over. Let's go. Let's go. Keep the time pressure on them. Keep it keep it complicated. Take, take, take. Okay. That might have been a blunder by them. Oh no. I can't take with the Ooh wait. No. Dang. Yeah, and then they take. Yeah, good. Well played. Well played. Uh, although, I think I win a piece here. Pardon me, but do I win a piece? No, I do not. Dang it. Okay, we got to keep it complicated, so. Yeah. Uh, all right, rough session today, guys. Dropping to uh, new lows in the rating score, but... Oof. Yeah, this is all bad. If I go up, there's kind of like some mating threats, so I'm going to stay back. Uh, this, this is pretty hopeless, but we'll, we'll play it out. Oh, they just push GG. All right, let's uh, let's resign. All right, what do we have to learn from this one? Let's see. <laughs> I did do better on the clock this game. Okay, this night move just uh, 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 this move was so unorthodox. I just was like in my mind, like I really want to get the queen here, and for some reason, I just felt like this pawn was. Like, I felt like I could move the knight and then just, like, check them. In retrospect, it's flawed for multiple reasons. Obviously, this pawn's in the way, but also they can just, like, backtrack the bishop and defend. So, I think I was just... I got, you know, tunnel vision on that. I think I think probably e5 here immediately. No? They say they say d5 or c5. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess you can't really immediately because they, they take and then I don't see a, a clear... Whoa, okay, let, let, let's look though. So, takes, takes. I guess the queen can take first if they do precise move order. Uh, if they don't, so yeah, they have to play queen. If they don't though, like let's say they go here. Uh, I thought I'd have like this move because uh, I'm threatening like uh, this, but actually they can just play precisely and trade. Um, every that's the only uh, that move is plus one point six for white. Everything else is advantageous for black though. But uh, okay, so that yeah. So I guess in this position, we've actually faced something like this before. So let let's see if I can figure out a solid plan against this in the future. So they say d five as a top move, knight c six as a top move, or c five. Knight, let's see. So knight c6. I guess the idea here is like you just play chess. Like they're kind of overextending. They're going to come try to kill you. Um, oops. I thought that was the move they wanted. Oh, bishop e3. Interesting. Oh, what happens if this is bad for some reason? Knight takes. Oh, yeah. Sorry. The, pawn, the pawn's just. The pawn's hanging after you block this way. So. Um. So, okay, I remember in an earlier episode, um, I said, like, 
e5 is like the main break you're going for and also knight c6 is like one of the main moves in king's indian so i guess here because i can't play e5 right away uh, my default plan i think in the future moving forward should be knight c6 all right so that's my lesson learned in this opening uh Yeah, I mean, here this is dangerous for me. You know, like, they're going to open up the rook file. You know, queen can hop over. Um, it's it's sketchy, for sure. Meanwhile, like, the, their king is vulnerable long-term, but, like, not really right now. Like, it's it's hard for me to do much. You know, this bishop is enclosed behind this pawn. Um, these pieces are horribly <laughs> underdeveloped, so which was my own fault. Uh, let's see. Computer wanted knight b6 knight f uh or knight f6 or c6 okay i think those are all kind of just like normal moves in the position all right guys i think i just identified one more uh fatal flaw in this game so as i just mentioned this bishop is locked in by my own pawn uh so let's actually back up a few moves here so after we played e5 they recaptured and we had, a, we had a few options of how to recapture this pawn. So we could go pawn takes, we could go knight takes, we could go bishop takes. Uh, why don't you pause the video and give it some thought. Tell me what are, what are the pros and cons of each move and which one do you think is the best? So with the bishop, uh, in general with Fianchetto bishops, this is one of your strongest pieces on the long diagonal and you usually don't want to trade it off. Uh, so I, I probably wouldn't go bishop takes. Um, the problem with pawn takes, as we saw in the game, is that basically I've locked in my own bishop, but sometimes that's okay. You know, in King's Indian positions, you often get like this sort of formation sometimes. But in this particular position, I think it's very problematic because I don't have a pawn here anymore and I can't like try to break open the position in any way. Uh, I also can't really play this break because they're going to castle a kingside and be safe. And I don't want my king to be like super extra sketchy, <laughs> uh, super extra unprotected. So because of those reasons, I think this was it's the permanency of this locking in my bishop. That's really the issue here. Um, so I think actually knight takes would have been the best move in this position because we leave the diagonal open for the bishop for the rest of the game. Also, we can play d5 at some point and maybe soften up this pawn cluster. And then actually we do have a chance to try to get to their king instead of us just defending ourselves while they pawn storm us with impunity and come try to kill us while, they're, while their king's just back here chilling. So um, I checked this with the engine. It actually says that both moves are like pretty equal. Uh, but I pretty hardcore disagree with that. I think knight takes is much better here, at least on a human level, at my level of uh, <laughs> of chess. And I think this was a critical lesson to learn from this game that, uh, you know, even on basic recaptures, give it one extra second and evaluate what's the best way and uh, try to keep that bishop open. And here you got maybe some of you are tempted like, oh, let's go queen d6. Uh, the problem is then they have discoveries, right? So uh, this might, you know, they don't have a good knight jump right now. If they try to check me, I can take. Um, but I don't know. Imagine a future scenario where like this is protected and they throw in this check and I can't take and then I move and then they win the queen, right? So you got to You want to avoid these x-rays if at all possible. Um, okay, let's get back to the main game. Yeah, this was not a good move by me, but they were going to take this pawn. Ooh, in retrospect, I should have let them take the pawn because then I can use the file. So, like, I made this move so that I could defend, but, um, yeah, in retrospect, I think it was inefficient. And yeah, the, the engine hates it. So, they wanted knight h3, bishop, there, there's multiple moves here. Uh, so, yeah, they want to, they wanted, like, get this knight in the game or... Uh, Bishop F2. Yeah, Bishop yeah, Bishop F2. Is that what they played? Yeah, and then I have this knight move. I think they should have maybe... Actually, I guess this doesn't quite work because I have this pin. Uh, it's complicated. They wanted Queen H5 here. Yeah, it's very strong. Now, now my weakness here becomes... Uh, okay, and they found the best move. All right, guys, pause the video right here. There's actually two mate and twos for white. See if you can find them. And while you're at it, you might as well drop a like on the video. All right. 
Uh, and yeah, here, okay, yeah, there's two made in two. So double check, I have to move, you win. Uh, same thing, I have to move, you win. So uh, yeah, I'm lucky my opponent didn't see this and I was able to trade off the bishop, which was the problem in this scenario. But I also don't really have any counterplay after this. Uh, my position is still very awkward. Like this, the queen being near these. Um, oh, and yeah, sorry, I forgot about this uh, this tactic, which was an issue. Yeah, queen f8 was the best move. There's just, you know, there's only so much I can do here. I feel like we, uh, yeah, we give them a run for their money. They had to earn their stripes. But uh, there's only so much we can do. So sometimes we'll turn those around, but not every time. So let's talk about the reasons for this loss now, because I'm trying to make sure I get the, the maximal amount of learning out of every loss. Um, I think this one basically boils down to King's lack of King's Indian knowledge. Uh, just out of the opening, I just kind of got into a bad position. Um, like all this was normal and fine. And then around here, I mean, they they started just coming for me and it was kind of hard for me to counter strike, you know, so uh, and it's still actually not super clear to me, like how to punish this. And I played around in, with the engine and stuff and uh, I need to do some more research on this. But yeah, so just overall lack of opening knowledge. But um, my time management in this game was pretty good. Um, you know, we were pretty good on the clock throughout most of the game. And, you know, we, we played fairly well in, in a complicated position, but uh, we, we just had a disadvantage the whole time because of uh, my lack of opening knowledge. So something to work on for the future. So at a new low on the on the graph, but um, it's okay, guys. We're, uh, we're learning. We're recovering. We're getting a better feel for the time control. Um, I know there's been a lot of episodes, but actually this I haven't really played like that many games yet. You know, like if I look back on my old... Um, my old like rating graphs of like how many games I played in a period of time. I haven't been playing that many cause I'm trying to record them for you guys. So I, every time I get an itch to play, I don't always fire up a game. So, uh, you know, I'm getting a feel for it again. And, uh, thanks for joining me on the journey. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, where it takes us. So don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see more, turn on the notification bell and, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot guys.